I'm on the struggle bus. Feel like quitting. Burp was scary. Mm -hmm. I'm the one they call the bully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can open up the door. I open up the door. Yeah. I used to buy this earlier with you, go with Rima. I'm on the struggle bus. Got a little slight headache, but I do not feel like working out. Don't matter though. I'm gonna do it anyway. The days that I've worked out when I really didn't want to work out are the days that make you. What you do when you don't have the energy, when you're tired, when your head hurting, it's hot or it's cold, whatever the case may be. And you just feel like quitting, you just feel like chilling, you just feel like sleeping. Those are the days you gotta push through. It's easy to work out when you motivated and you really feel like doing it. It's easy to work out. But the days you don't, Days you don't want to work out. That's what separates the average from the good and the good from the great. Let me get this workout started before I change my mind. But yeah, I mean, I think Bottom line is, I've mentioned plenty of times before, priorities gonna keep changing and shifting. And you know, what's important to you today might not always be what's important to you tomorrow. Of course, I still wanna work out, but it's just not at the very top of my priority list right now. My wife just birthed our son. We had a lot going on with that. We were in and out of the hospital, obviously. Just lots going on, so. I have two other beautiful daughters and I have to make sure that I'm giving them plenty of attention and time that they need. All right, play what you're saying. She's out here with me. My wife is in there, you know, feeding and sleeping. So every now and then I try to make sure I do my best to get her some sleep. But uh, right now I'm gonna get a good workout in with my brother and my daughter out here chilling. Then we'll go from there. <laughs> She makes a mess, but it keeps her quiet. Feeling good, feeling good now that I started. I really didn't want to start, but now I'm glad I did. Sometimes that's what it takes. Just go. Don't listen to that voice telling you not to do it. Don't listen to the voice, ignore the voice. Telling you to be lazy, telling you to stay in bed, telling you not to do it. And then do more. Do more just because it told you not to do it at all. Look at this. Look at this. Washing clothes for me has been a hassle lately. <laughs> My wife actually asked me if I still had this shirt yesterday. She said, you still in that shirt? I'm like, yeah, I didn't throw it away. I'll show her when she gets up. It's about that time for me to get things back in order. My life has been wild lately, but we don't get back right. Been skipping the gym. It's been crazy. I have been a little bit consistent lately, but I want to be a little bit more consistent with my working out, my work, and all of that. Giving myself a little bit of grace. That's been a while lately. Well, you know what? I'll be back like nothing ever happened. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. Y'all don't even have to say it. I'll say it myself. This is ridiculous. But I think I can do three loads, break these up into three different loads, and knock it out. But yeah, this is crazy. Might be close to the most clothes I've ever had to wash. These are my clothes only, not even include my wife's clothes. Lately, my focus has been like, everybody just be happy, you know? <laughs> so I've been doing things that makes me happy. I've been chilling, I've been spending time with my daughters, making sure I get them all the attention they need. I've signed my daughter up for jiu-jitsu, so I've been taking her to that. She's got tutoring. Of course, I spend plenty of time with my youngest and then helping out my wife as much as possible with the newborn, Cyrus. And when I'm not doing those things, I've been editing and vlogging here and there, playing the game, trying to work out. Just relax, that's been my goal. And eating, I've been eating, doing all the things I want to do. 
right? To make sure that I'm balanced. I gotta be happy. My wife gotta be happy so that we kinda keep moving the things, right? Gotta keep moving forward. So I've been avoiding stuff like this, the normal life things that you must do, like washing clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't been doing these things, but that's okay, right? <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta do prehab. Instead of waiting till there's an issue and trying to correct it, you do prehab. Let me explain. You get an injury when you're working out, right? What, what happens? They send you to physical therapy so you can do rehab. That is, you're trying to get something back to where it was before you injured it. You gotta do some rehab, rehabilitation. Sometimes though, what you wanna do is, before there's even an injury, you wanna do prehab. You wanna make sure you're making those little things stronger, the finer details, right? When you're in the gym and you're squatting, you're strengthening the large muscles, but there's a lot of small itty bitty muscles to help you do daily things, the abductors, the, the little stabilizing muscles, right? That the squats don't necessarily work. There's a little small muscle in your glute, it's called a piriformis muscle. You don't really hit that muscle when you're doing squats, but when the, the large gluteus maximus and the minimus gets stronger and stronger, Longer, that little piriformis muscle just stays weak if you're not doing certain exercises to help strengthen that muscle as well it'll snap randomly something happens wrong boom that'll put you down that little tiny muscle will put you down right so sometimes we have to do prehab movements to strengthen those little itty bitty muscles to keep up with the demands of the other muscles as well so that's how I look at life sometimes instead of going at it worrying about the big things I'm worrying about the little details that many people tend to miss. I'm reading my Bible. I'm playing the games. I'm spending time with my family. I'm making sure I take it one brick at a time so I'm not missing anything. <sighs> Doing prehab, y'all. Get some prehab in your life. What do you see, Mom? Good morning. Good morning. What do you see, baby? Baby and mommy is sleep, okay? I'm not sleeping. But you can go see the bully fam. You can say hi to the bully fam. You can say hi to them. You can say hi to them through the camera. Say hi, bully fam. Hi, bully fam. There you go. Where are you doing? Uncle Joe out there in the kitchen. You got it? I got it. There we go. All right, now let's put these in there. First, I got to put these clothes in there. All right, come on. Go, go, go. My baby brother. Close that for me. I want my baby. I told that first. All right, it's closed. All right. Haven't even been opening mail like we should. Although it looks like a lot of mail, it's been way more mail than we actually opened up. It's just we have a lot more that we need to. Lots and lots of nails are coming in and out, but if you haven't needed it, then it was like, whatever. Oh yeah, these are, uh, these are shoes my wife got. It's just some SB Dunks. Yeah, she ordered me multiple Dunks, actually. And this is something I had been ready to order a long time ago when I thought like a toddler playset, basketball, goal, and all type of stuff. Interesting. We will see how this thing operates when it's time. Obviously, he's not old enough to be able to use it now, but I think these are just diapers. The boy is wearing a two already. He's already in a two. He was in a two like week one. They have multiple shoes. boxes and stuff. I don't really bother with that anymore. Give me the shoes. I don't need the shoe boxes. Okay. Done. Chop lay his head down. He lift it up. You don't want nobody holding your head, man. Sleep. I don't really eat dairy like that, but he was like, I might need to cut it out because like he doesn't eat dairy at all. So like the two of the ice cream in the house is dairy free. Right. The only thing I, I kinda consume still is like cheese because yeah. I, I it make a burger hit. Yeah, <laughs> right. 
Alright, it's in there. Okay. That's it. I'm just gonna do this a little bit more. Dry needling? Mm hmm. Mm. We're getting some of the recovery points, so I gotta put the same ones on the You've been stressed too, you should do this. <laughs> yes, 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 babe. For what? So it's basically like jumping a car. Um, I know it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic. <laughs> Stomach went down. Turn the sound. Still a passenger princess, just in the back seat now. Blessings, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be a sad day when I gotta start driving myself back around. Remember how? Yeah, I remember. I believe so. Here we are. What's up, boy? Big mama ain't big no more. Yeah, no. It's lovely. <laughs> got your body back. Working on that part. It ain't completely back, but. You ain't got the belly, though. I don't have a belly. I know the last time I walked up over here, I was. Swole body. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Hey <laughs> <laughs> guys. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. How about you? How was your stay? Let's see in these peaks. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are y'all? Pretty good. This adventure has been a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Brittany's kind of you. Okay. How's he doing? Oh Y'all look tired. You have that new new parent look. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Look at you. Hello. Oh my gosh. You had a big adventure. And you're going to go Sweet baby. Beautiful. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about it. That was a lot. <laughs> I would agree with you. Perfect. Well, Scary. Mm -hmm. A lot. You remain calm though. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome. Pretty pie. What do you weigh today? 10, 15 and a quarter. So is this it for you guys? Or yeah, are you I just going to, I just want a boy. You got a boy. Yeah. I told him we gotta get sent then. Oh. <laughs> it's so much easier for you to do than for her to do. So sometimes with this, people experience a little bit of Burning as it go in from the um all right it's late we ain't been out this late in a while mama got her iv that took forever hi baby hi you helping me i have ready some you have ready some back all right thank you 